my top paid platforms to study and practice pen testing and bug bounty hunting skills. Plural site. There is not one special reason this is my first mention. Therefore, the numbering doesn't necessarily reflect my prioritization of them. Back in December 2020, I tried the 7 day free trial. I found a dozen or more courses that I want to go through, so I decided to pay, at least uh, for one month. You can see a few of the courses I'm going through. They are technology related and not necessarily related to hacking techniques or methodologies. Because I want to better understand the frameworks that power the assets that I'm hacking. Nonetheless, uh, they do have a section with hundreds of cybersecurity courses. I personally don't think Pluralsight is an innovative platform in any shape or form when it comes to education. I've picked it because it simply aligns with some of my goals right now. At some point in the future, I will try Packed Platform because uh, I've heard some good things about them and they may be less expensive. I've done many videos in which I practice on attack defense labs. Look up the live videos on my channel. I like them because their challenges are very resembling of uh, real life cybersecurity issues and the platform is not CTF-ish. I don't like CTFs. They have a good categorization of challenges and they currently have more than 2000 challenges that you can practice on. I focus on the CVE section and I hope to see more smartphone related challenges in the future. With their subscription you also get access to Pentester Academy courses. But in my opinion these courses are quite antiquated so they haven't caught my attention. There is not much to say about Udemy. Tons of courses for any imaginable and unimaginable skill you can develop in cybersecurity. The big downside is that there is a low barrier to entry for instructors, therefore a lot of bad courses out there. Plus, the majority of content is beginner oriented. But if you take enough time and uh, read reviews, you can definitely find a few courses to meet your criteria. And the big upside here is that they are $10 almost all the time. Pentester Lab. So what I like about this is that they have a good selection of skills you can train hands on. And uh, for that matter, I've picked security code review. What I don't like. I think that the platform is quite rudimentary in terms of user experience, at least compared to attack defense labs. And that's probably one of the main reasons I've stopped paying for it for now. I feel like subscription retention is low, but I might be wrong. What I know is that I will renew my subscription in the future at some point when I feel user experience has been improved. YouTube, probably my best investment ever. I've been using premium for more than six months and it's $5. I cannot believe how I was able to learn on YouTube all those years back with ongoing advertisement interruptions. I use YouTube mostly for education and not entertainment purposes. Now, one of the downsides is that content may be less structured compared to a platform dedicated specifically to courses where you can also practice hands-on. All in all, however, I'm very satisfied with YouTube. Hacktify. This is a very notable mention for someone specifically interested in bug bounty hunting. I know Rohit and I very much like the way he teaches. And his courses are five or six dollars, which is a very good investment considering the high quality of content you are getting. Now, a few fallen angels. I used to study on Cyberry a few years ago when it was all free. However, the way I was treated as an instructor on their platform and also their unapproachable subscription price made me completely stay away from it. And on the same note, I was bragging a lot about Adabit as one of the best free platforms to practice coding, which is a good skill for cybersecurity professionals. As a matter of fact, uh, I've gone through a lot of their challenges in my live streams. But hey, they moved to pay subscriptions and not a cheap one. And you only get a handful of free challenges. So yeah, they fell off my list uh, until further notice. I have other notable platforms for hands-on coding practice which I might talk about in the future. And look, I am really curious to see other good platforms you pay for. And of course, that are not CTFs. So tell me all about them below.